Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Matt Hester, and I want to take another quick look at some of the new features in Windows Server 2008 R2 to help you do your job better. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the Active Directory Recycle Bin. Now, we've all done this, or we've done this either on purpose or by accident. You've deleted a user in your environment. Well, prior to Windows Server 2008 R2, how did you bring the user back? More than most likely, you either A, created the user from hand again, or B, um, if you had an authoritative restore of your AD, had to use that kind of backup and restore to bring back that user account. Or, and depending on how many domain controllers and how fast or slow your replication, you might have tried to uh, get it before the deletion actually replicated to another DC. Well, the point is, it wasn't easy to do. Well, in R2, we actually add in a new feature called the Active Directory Recycle Bin, which will give you an additional 180, 180 days before the objects are tombstoned through the regular deletion process. So if you delete a user by accident, you can now recover it. Now a couple important notes before uh, we get into the actual and show you what the recycle bin is. And really the one important note starts and stop with, you do need to have your forest level set at Windows Server 2008 R2, which simply means all your domain controllers have to be Windows Server 2008 R2. So even before you can use the recycle bin, you have to have an upgraded domain infrastructure. But once you have it uh, set up, how do you work with the recycle bin? Well, first things first, let me actually bring you into the Active Directory module for PowerShell. So one of the new things we've added into Active Directory is the Active Directory module for PowerShell. And what this module will do for us is simply allow us to do uh, AD work. And these are new to Windows Server 2008. We have these whole bunch of commandlets that are there for you to work with. Well, before you can work with the Recycle Bin specifically, you have to enable it. Now, I've typed this command in ahead of time to save a little bit of time. But if we step through it, notice it says Enable AD Optional Feature, Identity, telling us it's a Recycle Bin feature. Um, it's an optional feature, and then it's telling us where it's going to store it. Now, this particular command enables the Recycle Bin for Contoso.com, which happens to be the name of my local domain. Now, I've already enabled this feature, but I'm going to show you what happens here just so you can get an idea. The other important thing about the Recycle Bin is that once you turn this on, it's irreversible. Um, you won't be able to disable the Recycle Bin feature. Now, you can configure uh, the time of life for the Recycle Bin, so you can shrink that down so it's essentially not functional. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes and enable it, and I'm going to get an error message simply saying, hey, you've already done this before. It's already been enabled. So that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. And let's actually start working with it. So the first thing, you have to enable it with the enable dash AD optional feature commandlet. Now after you've enabled it, now notice the keyword statement, after you've enabled it. In other words, if you've already deleted objects and then you enable the recycle bin, those objects will still remain deleted and you have to do your uh, old backup and recovery methods, uh, how you brought objects back in the past. But since I've enabled this, let me go ahead and actually delete a user. So I'm going to hop into Active Directory Users and Computers real quick. Uh, I have a user N Hester. Now I just want to open this user up and show you a bit about this user. So if I have some general information, I have some address information, um, I've even put the user into some groups. Now I do that because I want to make sure you know I don't have any tricks up my sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on N Hester, Nicole, and delete the account. And say, yep, now the account is gone. Now, how do I bring it back? Well, with the Recycle Bin, it's actually a very, very straightforward command. And there's two ways we can run uh, this command. And let me bring up my filtered object. So the first one I'm going to run is I'm going to say, just filter, show me everything that's in the Recycle Bin. So if I say, get AD object dash filter and then star, it's going to show me all the objects that are currently inside of that Recycle Bin for me to look at and work with. It just basically gives me that information. But the nice thing about this tool is that you can actually get in, let me bring up my command again, and filter this a little bit more easily. So you can actually say, hey, show me the filter but only show me the ones with the display name equal to N Hester. I happen to know that. You may not always have the luxury because what will happen when you run this command, what you're trying to be able to get to is be able to get this object GUI ID that we have inside of there. Now, this object GUI ID is how we understand or how Active Directory knows who our users are. And to bring that user back, I have to know that ID. So if I simply say restore dash AD object, dash ID, oops, and let me go ahead and highlight this and mark it and copy it, and then I'll simply paste it into my command line here. I can then bring back the object. Now I don't get really any visual recognition the object came back, but let me go back into my uh, OU and refresh this real quick, 
and we should see Nicole's account, which was previously deleted, is now back and returned. And everything that was about that user, groups, address information, is still intact. Now I'm going to delete the account one last time because I want to show you just another quick trick you can do. And this is really just the power of, uh, of working with PowerShell, is that if you know this, you can actually use the pipe symbol to pipe in the object that you get from that get80 object. So that's going to bring that back. And I can just put in restore dash 80 object and it's going to actually bring that user back in one command line so you don't have to do it in a two-step process it's helpful if you've you've come up in the server and, and weren't quite sure it was there and notice the accounts back so great way to work with it once again just want to give you a quick peek into the active directory recycle bin another new feature in Windows Server 2008 R2 thank you for watching